I think bioplastics have a place, but they're complicated. Um, first of all, there are some bioplastics that are made out of plants, and those are not necessarily biodegradable. And there are also um, plastics made from fossil sources like oil and natural gas that might be biodegradable. Um, and there are some that just have some kind of mystery additive put in them that supposedly causes them to break down, but they probably just break down into smaller and smaller pieces. So all the different types of, quote, bioplastics are very complicated, which is why I explain the different kinds in my book. Um, but I agree with you, Daniela, when you're talking about single-use disposable items, even if these things are biodegradable, they still are requiring huge amounts of materials and energy to produce just for a single use. So from that environmental perspective, I think it's really important to focus on reusable items over bioplastics. But that said, um, there are some bioplastics, one in particular, which is called PHA. And I've spoken to um, a Bill at Algalita about it. and. Um, it's the one bioplastic, I think, that has been shown to actually break down in seawater. It takes a long time, but I think if plastic is going to end up in the ocean, I would rather have plastic that will actually biodegrade. So th this is a conversation that I have with people a lot, which is how do we promote reuse and promote reducing our consumption while at the same time supporting efforts to create bioplastics from plants that will biodegrade and recycling um, systems for the plastics that we do end up with without just encouraging more consumption. I think it's kind of tricky and I would like to hear other people's ideas about that. Yeah, I, I think Beth's final point there is very well taken. Um, you know, I, I think if, if, we, if we look at a future where bioplastics have a, have a role, I think it is in that if in fact we can demonstrate that that a, a plastic it can it can wholly break down biologically in in the ocean, not mechanically, in that it's just going to fragment into smaller and smaller pieces at a faster rate, but actually the chemical components of it dissolve and oxidize into the seawater. Um, I, I still think at that point the bioplastics have a role as a as a safe measure. So if all other mitigation efforts fail and plastics do end up in the ocean then they, they will expedite, the, the threat at which they, they pose to marine life will, will quickly uh, dissipate into the ocean. Um, with that said, there are major barriers ahead. Um, you know, one thing that, that stands in the way is there actually is no current standard that says what makes something biodegradable or, or, a, bio, or um, a bioplastic. So, you know, one person's labeling of a bioplastic may mean something very different, and there's, there's no process that demonstrates um, you know, an ocean plastic, something that is truly degradable in the ocean. So, you know, from, from a technical standpoint, I think there are barriers that lie ahead. From a sustainability standpoint, you know, bioplastics take up extraordinary amounts of energy for their production. Um, you know, there are externalities associated with them, just like traditional petroleum-based plastics, and there still is oil and other non-renewable resources required to produce those. Um, so there are some challenges ahead, and just from a, a consumer standpoint, you know, I, I, I would echo your concern, Daniela, that, you know, when something is labeled bioplastic or biodegradable or ocean-friendly plastic, um, it, it sends a, a message, whether directly or indirectly, to consumers that, well, if that product ends up on the ground or doesn't quite make it in the trash can, it's not going to pose any harm. And I think everyone on this call here and many people that are probably listening to, to this know that that is not the case. So anything that may perpetuate the, the disposal of plastics into trash cans or, or those that may ultimately end up in the ocean, um, you know, I, I'm very hesitant to endorse.